what's up y'all I'm about to do some balsamic chicken so the only seasonings we're gonna need is just salt pepper and garlic powder and then for the balsamic sauce we're gonna be using balsamic vinegar of course some honey and some soy sauce that's the low sodium kind I'm gonna get a little bit of olive oil into the pan to get started here's your chicken now these are boneless skinless thighs but you can use any chicken you want. I'm going to finish the sauce with some butter and some green onion. This is going to be so good y'all. Let's get started. Okay y'all so we're going to get the balsamic sauce started and then I'm going to set it aside. So I'm going to do a half a cup of balsamic vinegar. You can use any brand. I love balsamic vinegar. So. Just use whichever brand you want. So that's a half a cup. Put it in the bowl. Then I'm going to use a fourth of a cup of honey. Now I'm going to spray my measuring cup with some cooking spray. That's just a little trick y'all. That's just going to keep the honey from sticking in your cup. That's totally optional though guys. Alright so I got my cup sprayed. I'm going to go in with a fourth of a cup of honey. This is a good local honey too. So just put that straight in with the vinegar. All that's going to come out. The last ingredient is going to be your soy sauce. You can use any brand. I'm using the low sodium. I'm going to put two tablespoons of soy sauce in here. It just adds a really good flavor. All right, so just mix this up. All right, guys, I got my chicken thighs right here. I'm going to just season these with salt, pepper, and garlic powder on both sides. So here's the salt. We're going to go in with that first. Season this to your taste, y'all. All right, so then we're going to put the black pepper on here. Don't be stingy with that black pepper. Y'all know I like black pepper. I love black pepper. All right. Last seasoning, some good old garlic powder. You cannot go wrong with garlic powder. So just put some of that on there. That's the bottom side. I like to season the bottom side first. Then I'm gonna flip these over. And I'm gonna season it the exact same way. So I got this skillet heating up with a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm about to get this chicken nice and brown. And also y'all go ahead and turn the oven on so that once we brown this chicken up, we can pop it in the oven real quick. All right, y'all. The oil is hot. We're going to get these babies in here. That's the sound you want to hear, guys. Okay, it's time to flip. Y'all want to make sure that this chicken has some good brown color on it too. Yeah. Okay, so the chicken just came out of the oven. It baked for only 15 minutes. Y'all, please put something on this handle so that you don't burn yourself. Don't forget to do that. Okay, I'm getting ready to put my balsamic mixture on now. Okay, y'all, so this was the mixture that we made earlier, remember? I'm going to give it a quick stir. And I'm just going to pour it on the chicken. Turn the heat back on. Okay. 
Now this is gonna start cooking immediately, guys. Look at that. That's that balsamic vinegar. It smells so good. It might choke you up a little bit too, but hey, it's all I good. just let it cook for about five more minutes with the vinegar mix in the skillet. So turn the heat off and add a little bit of butter, one tablespoon, and let that melt. All right, y'all, the chicken is ready. I'm gonna finish it with some green onion. I just cut up two of them. Don't that look good, y'all? All right, y'all, so I cannot wait. I'm gonna give it a taste right out of the pan. Don't judge me. All right, take a little piece off the side right here. It's hot too. It's cooked all the way through. Mmm. It's good, y'all. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Share this with someone who loves something tangy, a little sweet, a little salty. Tag them. They're gonna love this recipe. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all on the next one.